All right. Well, welcome. Chuck Cashman here coming to you live from one of my favorite places on the planet, the Marine Max Pompano Yacht Center. This, uh, I've had the privilege of working in and around this place for uh, close to 18 years. And I'll tell you, it's the, uh, besides being an amazing place to, to come to look at boats, have an amazing team, it, it, we're going to look from 40 feet to 95 all at one stop. And, and I'll tell you, that's one of the nice things about the Marine Max Yacht Center is I, I know you can't see this range of boats in one place in the world unless you go to some of the biggest boat shows in the world. Most boat shows will have two or three or four as at best because it's just it's impossible to get them all accumulated like this. So you take a look here. We'll start with a 40-foot Verve, which is uh, which is just an amazing boat from Azimuth. They did a they did a wonderful job introducing this with outboards a few years back, and it's launched a series. The 47 Verve is honestly probably the hottest boat on the planet right now, with, uh, with over 30 of them sold on order. We've delivered a half a dozen. Very proud to say I have one of the first deliveries, and it's a uh, it's an amazing boat. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go through. But when you start looking at the at the boats that we have here. We'll go from 40 to 50. To, there's a S6 there. There's a 66 fly. You're, you're gonna you're gonna get a chance to see the the depth and the breadth of the Azimuth Panetti product offering. And like I say, you can you you can spend a, a month traveling the world trying to get all these boats in one spot, but you have it here at the yacht center. And uh, let's take a walk down. We'll look. Uh, we'll kind of peek over the transom at some of these boats. It's really amazing. We're celebrating today. This is a uh, this is an event that we're doing for customers and prospects to really give them in the in the world that we live today. It's such a crazy time, right? You want to uh, you want to get out and enjoy the world, and we're seeing boating being I mean boating activities at almost an unprecedented pace, and it's awesome because what what's happened is there's so few places you can go in the world that's fun anymore. Everybody's tired of being in their homes, and you know enough is enough with uh, with COVID and still trying to be safe. You can get on one of these boats. You can go drop an anchor somewhere out there. You cook with your family. You're safe, but you're having fun. You're in your own environment. You can you can select the people that you want to go boating with. And I just think like, I've always been an incredibly passionate boater. I've always thought it's the best place to be in the world is out on your boat. Today, even more so because you can do it safely and you can do it with the people that you love and you know that everybody's staying safe. So we're seeing just an amazing pickup in business and it's phenomenal. We're happy for that. And we're happy to provide this kind of selection. So we've invited select people to come in and you can essentially shop. We are, we're limiting one family to, uh, to each boat. And then after you get off, we wipe it down to make sure that the boats are completely sanitary. So if you don't see crowds, we've controlled it. It's exactly why you're not seeing crowds is we've tried to stage our appointment so that if you had an appointment at two o'clock, you show up at two o'clock and there's not five people on the boat ahead of you. So it's a very tailored, customized, personalized experience. And we're very thankful that we're able to offer this to people. So it's a, it's a phenomenal event. Come walk around. We'll, we'll peek over the transom. Here's a 50 fly, amazing boat, two S6s, one with a bridge, one without a bridge. It's, uh, you know, it offers just a little bit of variable. This, uh, the first X6 is a coupe and that is totally enclosed, totally air conditioned. It's a little more, uh, you know, to be honest, it isn't my kind of boating. I like a little bit of the wind in my hair, and I like a little bit of water every now and then. But I tell you, if you want to, if you want to dress to the nines and go to dinner by boat in the heat of the summer, that's the boat you get in. You operate it from inside the air, and you step out. And you're fresh as a daisy. So it's a really cool experience. The S six with the bridge allows you to get a little bit of wind in your hair while still having the same amazing salon and cabins down below. And we'll take a walk. You can see some of the customers here. And, you know, the selection of boats is just uh, when I got down here last night, it's uh, even even took me back. It's, it's just impressive to see this kind of uh, I call it hardware, but to see this kind of hardware all at one place. We have, I think, 21 slips. They're all full. It's all azimuth. Here's a 66 fly, which is one of the most popular boats that we sell. And Actually, from the seawall, we're a little bit elevated. You can get a look at the bridge. And, uh, you know, I've always said what Asma does an amazing job of is using all the living spaces on the boats. 
that boat looks a little bit like a uh, South Beach cabana. You know, we're in South Florida, so I'll use some of the local references. But uh, that's a South Beach cabana. You've got sofas in the back that, uh, you know, they're low slung, little coffee table there to put your drinks and your food. And you sit back there when you're out in the water and you're looking down over the water or you're in your marina and you're a little bit isolated from the people who walk by. And it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal chance to uh, just take advantage of the space on your boat and enjoy it. And we're not going to go into the boats as much as I would like to. We'll give you a little bit of taste. But every single one of these boats has a video on marinebacks.com. Go to the inventory piece. If you see something you like, go look at 66 Fly. There's YouTube videos. We have videos online. Hasbin has videos. You can take a walk on some of these boats virtually and get more information than I'm going to be able to give you in the in the 10 minutes that we're together. So 66 Magellano. Magellano Hasbin essentially has different classes of boats. They have a they have an Atlantis, they have a Verb, they have a Fly, they have a Magellano, they have a Grande. Magellano is said to be the, uh, it's an Italian, and, and they'd actually throw something at me if I said it, but it's an Italian trawler. So it has the, you'd never know it was a trawler by looking at it, but a trawler to me is a seagoing liveaboard boat. That's a boat that you could go spend six months on, travel the world. Magellano comes from Magellan, one of the, one of the greatest explorers in the history of the world. That's where that boat's heritage is from. It's a very seaworthy boat. Actually, the two boats here, it's a great place to take a look at it. They're both 66 feet, but if you look at the top of the gunnel, look at the difference between the 66 Fly and the 66 Magellano. This boat's a 30-plus knot boat. This boat isn't, but the Magellano is a boat that you could go out in the six- or eight-foot seas, and everybody's going to feel safe. We'll get a shot from the walkway on how deep the walk-arounds are. So you look at the walk-around on the 66, that's plenty safe, right? walked up and down i've actually used that boat before that model boat not that particular boat but you use it the walk around is great magellano that is designed for the hardy seaworthy nature of a trawler with the unprecedented unparalleled italian style you can even see how much higher the bridge is we were looking at the bridge of the other 66 look at this even more elevated but you can see just the backs of the sofa once you get up there, it'll have the same feel. It'll feel like it's, uh, you know, that, that maybe not quite as South Beachy as the 66 Fly, but you'll have an area up there, great, great social environment. One of my favorite features on that 66 is if you look under the hard top, there's that mass that's gray. There's a little shower there in case you get, uh, if you're up there sunbathing and get a little warm, you don't want to come down and jump in, you can just take a little shower up there. So I'm a, I'm a big personal fan of the Magellano. Someday when I'm uh, not working every day, I'm going to get one of these and try to do some extended cruising into the Bahamas. I think it would just be a phenomenal adventure. 72 fly next to it. Another staple. Look up there. What I like about that is now you're looking at, you go to a 72, you see the difference from the 66. And it's nice to see it in this progression. Because now look at all the sofas up there. Now you have you know, two left seats and a sofa. It's a much bigger bridge. It just accommodates more people. And really all it is is a bigger boat. There's still the same amount of staterooms. You just get more space. So if you have a big family, you have an awful lot of friends, we'll all be thankful when COVID is over. When you have your, hey, COVID is over party, you could put 25 people up there and, uh, and everybody's got to have a nice spot. Really, uh, really a favorite boat of ours. Further down, we've got a 78, which debuted about a year ago in the U.S. 78 fly debuted about a year ago. First boat came in, was sold. Second boat was sold. We're thankful to have this boat. It's available, but you can start to see the evolution of the line in just just the normal evolutions that come with uh, with time. You know, you design a boat, and a boat's life cycle is sometimes six, seven years, and, and that's that's appropriate, but in six or seven years in everything in homes and cars and fashion things evolve and there's the next generation of uh of style and look and uh this boat has a lot of great features to me i like the the top rail on the bridge is fiberglass as opposed to stainless you've seen stainless steel for 100 years and I, it's still done on so many boats it's not it's, you know, it isn't that it's antiquated but you look at that with the painted stainless and i just think that's one of the 
very unique features. You look at it and it stands out right away, and that accent goes up into the hard top, and it really gives you some amazing visual appeal. I think this is it's a shame that the boat is in where it is because if you see the profile on this boat, and I'd encourage you to go look at the 78 fly. Go look online. It has one of the most gorgeous profiles of any boat that we have. And it's really, really cool. Right next to it is a boat that debuted at Fort Lauderdale, 25 meter Magellano. So now you've taken the Magellano 66, which we just looked at. This is the next one up, 25 meters, about 80 feet. And uh, this boat is another one that it's worthy of taking a look online. But as you get up now, an 80 foot boat, you start talking about a now, this is a boat that is, uh, it's substantial, it's seaworthy, not that the 66 isn't, but you start looking at the scale and the scope and the hardware, the dimensions of the cleats and of the stainless and of the, you know, everything about it, the staircases. This has a spiral staircase that goes up a very large bridge, very modern. This boat is kind of a, uh, I guess the polarization, I guess, would be the word of old style trawler in very new Italian design. It's very, very edgy in all of its touch points. And yet they brought the wood in to make, you know, the wood accents to give it that old world feel. So it's really, it's, a, it's an excellent uh, polarization of the two styles. I think that if you were a... If you were a salty old dog, as we like to call some people that have owned trawlers all your life, you would find that DNA here. And if you were somebody that was very fashion forward and you like design and you like things that are modern, and new and edgy, you'd find it in here also. So you don't see that every day. Definitely go check that out online. And we may, we may get into a little bit of music here, but 27 meters, one of the most popular 27 meter boats in the world. We're going to walk past this music. There's a couple things down here to take a look at. We're going to finish up with a 95 Benetti, which uh, has been Benetti. And a little background. Sorry about that speaker. A little background of Azimuth Benetti. For 21 consecutive years, they've been the largest builder of the boat in the world, over 25 meters. So it's a it's a heck of an accolade for 21, maybe it's 22, 21 years in a row. We've been proud to be part of that for those years. And, uh, and this is the Benetti side of it. And this is really, believe it or not, this is the smallest Benetti they build. And, uh, you know, I, I would tell you, I feel like this is a pocket mega yacht. And this is the same crew, the same team. And we can say that about all the yachts. You know, in Benetti, this is the same team, the same crew. That was part of the three Jiggy yachts, which is over 100 meters. So that's a 330 foot boat in this 95 foot boat. And, and that's one of the nicest things about Azimuth Benetti. So, I mean, to me, this is an aspirational boat. I'm, I'm not sure that I'll ever own something like this, but I'm on my second Azimuth, looking at my third, and I know that the same team that works on this and works on all these award winning boats had, it a, had a hand in mind. And, uh, and I like that. The brand really resonates with me. I like what they do. I like what they stand for. It's, uh, it's not always function, although there are tons of function, but it's function balanced with style and aesthetics. So sometimes people, uh, you know, one of the comments that we hear from time to time is why are the sofas are a little bit lower than America? Because every sofa in Europe is lower than the sofas in America, right? If you want to go to your living room, you have big, cushy sofas. But uh, when you do travel through Europe, sofas are a little lower. They're a little harder. And, uh, you know, that's a trade-off for the style. And it's not for everybody, but there's a lot of people that like it. We do our very best with, you know, Andrew Schneider, our brand champion, that's been with us for, uh, for years and years and years, helping drive the asthma through America. We try to make them a little higher because we know, like all of us, right, a little higher is better. We don't have to be uncomfortable. But I will tell you that, that it's finding the balance of comfort for the American market and style for the Italian market while staying true to the style and the DNA of Azmit and providing comfort that our customers ask us for. So uh, it's been my honor and privilege and pleasure to take you through some of the things that we would see at our Yacht Center. You've seen from 40 feet to 95. It's uh, phenomenal. We're going to walk back here. and uh, I tell you, one of the neatest visuals I saw the whole day was kind of looking down the 27 meter, 25 meter, 78, 72, and just the lineup 
fiberglass is uh, I, I go to every major boat show in the world and you barely will ever see all of these boats in one place at one time. And we're, we're so thankful to be able to offer it to our best customers in a setting that's COVID free. Well, for, you know, COVID free as it can be. I, I don't want to say COVID free, but, uh, you know, looking down at all that hardware is just uh, it's amazing to me. So thank you so much for taking the time to spend the last 10 minutes with us. We look forward to seeing you here. Check us out on marinemax.com, asmyyachts.com, and uh, Chuck and Cashman signing off. Thank